Hello, my habibis. Uh, today, we are not in the Boshi cave. We're in the we're in the Boshi mobile. Um, I'm already carved up. Today is a chest and shoulders day. Uh, I have a I have a person that can hold my camera here. Uh, we might have a different okay. style of video. Uh, and stop! Stop! <laughs> stop talking! You're not real. <laughs> You're not supposed to be real. Maybe this will be a. Uh, how do I explain this? Mm. I, I, there's not really a way to explain this, but uh, sometimes I'm not alone, and I have a, I have a individual with me that uh, can help me. Oh, God, record the video. Oh, frick, I forgot the damn pre, which makes it maybe more uh, real. Uh, and I explain it. Hey, yeah. I re don't record people's license plate. Um, God, pre here. <sighs> Uh, let's flip and take it. Do a chug. Let's flip and chug, guys. Let's get our Walter White on. At the. Yeah, oh, God. There's still. I, I washed it. Don't worry. It's just it's a little bit of wash water still in there. Okay. Uh, tomorrow, there's uh, gonna be apparently a flipping blizzard. So, I'm quite excited for that. Because classes may be online and I don't have to wake up early and uh, that's always a good thing right um, so I don't know what I'm gonna say I sometimes I go into these videos not knowing a thing um, I don't know what that means that doesn't mean anything I, I go I, I try to be try to not have these scripted because if I have them scripted that's kind of kind of fake right so Oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, should I be a fake guy? Should I be a flipping fake guy? Uh, you're not real. Why is your hand in the video, man? <laughs> okay, so uh, let's let's flip and shake this. It's getting shaking time. Yeah, I should put on my freaking uh, exhaust thing. Oh, no, that's too loud. Okay, you know what happens after shaking time, right? Get out your frick flipping uh, timers. Uh, your cameraman isn't real for a bit. Um, see his dark fingers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's um, flip and chug, guys. Hey, <coughs> that was pretty flipping fast. The cameraman is real again. <coughs> All right. Hmm, there's something else to be said. Let's flip and drive. Stop! Alright, my Habibis, we have warmed up. Let me put on the damn elbow sleeves, because my elbows, I don't want them to be weak during this. I want to at least get eight reps with this weight. Um, I'm hoping next uh, week, I guess... Yeah, I mean, next time we hit chest and shoulders, uh, we should be getting, we should be hitting 230 on incline. But, um, we gotta hit this first, right? Oh, well, let's flip and go. We got the Minecraft music. I lost my flipping AirPods, so uh, we don't have AirPods anymore. Um, I'm gonna either have to buy new ones or uh, I'm gonna have to, have to, like, find them. Uh, Cause I know the gym owner, and um, hopefully he can see who took them. I think someone stole them, so yeah, it's not a good thing. But let's hit this flipping set. Hop! Right, man. All right, it's flipping goofy time. Um, let's do the second set. No, come on, man. You gotta be a good cameraman. Um, uh, so let's uh, do this flipping set. Uh, having a cameraman now, right? Uh, hopefully, it's funnier. <laughs> All right, let's go. Hoop! Oh! 
Come on. Okay. Whew. We went to Philly on that one. Let's flip and drop set. Okay, that last clip was maybe a little too goofy. This guy moved the weight. So when too you go much. up, right? Yes. Going up. Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, help, help, help. No, you're. In... Wow. Wow. <laughs> the way you did that. You, I know you work out, but like, you don't even work. From here? Did you? Oh, like, Where are you going? Wow. No way. You did. Yes, the bar. Oh. Wow. No way. Okay, wait. Move your hands. All right, go. Help me. On the coast country. Help all the way. You're helping me all the way. Up. Yeah. And I'm doing this part by myself. Now up. You're going to do this till failure, guys. I was getting tired. That was, right? that was, that was good. Holy flip. All right. Nonetheless, even though this guy's very goofy, just so you know, he doesn't work out if you can't tell that much. Um, uh, he he U US stops. Army. <laughs> he goes to the U.S. Army, but he doesn't know how to spot me on bench. Uh, but yeah, um, let's move on to uh, another incline pressing movement. Goofiness levels are off the charts in that last... Um, uh, workout in the, on incline smith right but now we're doing some incline machine on the doing the incline machine press so um we'll have this serious angle first and then goofiness will come in the next set we're gonna do this oh, god damn it this freaking went down there you go i like to have it all the way up because it's more in, aligned with my upper chest but uh yeah let's go I should have honestly went low, slow on that last rep, but it's fine. You know what? Let's do the partials. I forgot about that. Okay. Though it didn't look like it, that will definitely help in the long run because it's putting more work on my upper chest. But um, yeah, let's uh, do the next flipping set. It's goofy time. We got the obnoxious flipping cameraman. Um, we're gonna hit this for, this is gonna be the last set. Uh, we hit two sets on incline Smith and two sets on this. That'll give us four sets in all for upper chest in general. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna hit this for to failure. We're gonna try getting to at least eight reps, right? And then we're just gonna bust out a bunch of partials like we did in the last one. I kind of messed up on the beginning part of the, um, on the first set, because I was trying, I wanted to do partials right after the first set. But this time we're gonna do the same thing, what I've wanted to do, which was the partials right after the set. So the second set and the first set will have partials after. Every single workout we're gonna be doing now, like from whether it be legs, arms, back, whatever, is gonna be um, partials right after the set. Like no, no matter if it be the first, second, or third, it'll be partials right after. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to this new method of like, I guess, working out to like complete, complete, utter failure after each set. And hopefully that can give me a significant like gain in strength and size uh, throughout this bulk. So enough yapping. Let's hit the set. If I have anything else to explain after, then I'll explain it. But yeah, let's uh, bust this out for at least eight and then just go ham on the partials. So let's flip and go. Okay, 
Now we're gonna do a heavy, heavy drop set. Let's uh, do that. And we're only gonna focus on the eccentric. So we're gonna have the camera set down because I need my cameraman to help me with this. Drop set time. His uh, cameraman is gonna help me on the co-centric. All right, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna do eccentric completely by myself. Help. Oh, okay, that was good, thank you. Let's move on to uh, mid chest. Honestly, it feels really odd not having music in my ears while hitting upper body especially. I'm used to it for legs, but definitely not upper body. Um, but it's like I have to tap into like uh, some, something inside me or something like that. But we gotta get hyped, let's flip and go. We're doing mid chest cable flies if you didn't see. I think we can move up to 80. Uh, in the progressive overload, we're supposed to do 75, but this is uh, much easier uh, than I thought. I was supposed to do 75 for, uh, for at least 11, but I did it for, uh, like, I don't know, the 14, and then we started doing the partials. So 80 should be good. This is the flipping second set. We got it on 80 now. Or... Recording. Uh, a, a God damn it. Maybe lose my train of thought, G. Uh, we're we're going to do this uh, until failure, right? Try to get at least 10 reps. So let's do this. And then we'll do the heavy. No. We'll do the partials. And then on the last set, we'll do the drop set with the partials. So let's fucking go. Move back. Move back. Do that. That was a good flipping set. I think I either got 10 or 11, but nonetheless, I know I got in the rep range I wanted to be in. Woo! Your goofiness has been way too far for, these, for this workout, man. You're not even getting me in frame, G. <laughs> All right, so uh, this is the last set, guys. Um, we're gonna do this till failure, and then after that, um, we're gonna do the heavy drop set, but remember, we're doing the partials after each flipping set. Let's flip and go. All right, ready? All right, let's quickly drop set. Because I can just go like this on the close and drink. We're doing this till failure.
Come on. Oh. oh my god. That's a good pump. Holy flip. Alright, let's move on to uh lower chest cable flies. We uh we did upper chest, middle chest, which is basically upper and lower chest. Now we're doing lower chest. Oh my god. Habibi, so we're doing uh some lower chest cable flies. Uh last time we did a hundred on these. Hopefully we gained strength and it's like how um mid chest cable flies were where we could increase the weight and do more reps. But um, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's flip and do this first before we make any judgment on that. I don't know why I'm just holding these. I should have, honestly, let's just do the sec, damn it. Honestly, that's like the perfect way. Shoot, I forgot to do the partials. Damn it. All right, one sec. Yeah, can't do any more than that. Woo! All righty, folks. We won't mess up on the, on the partials at this time. Um, but this is the second set. We're gonna do one more set with this and then we should do the heavy drop set. Um, but yeah, let's fucking go. Be closer. If I can't get the co-centric, I'll get the eccentric. Okay. Woo! Oh god damn it, I forgot. I keep forgetting the partials. Flip. Yeah, there's no way I can get that right. Damn it. If I messed up, but holy flip, that really hit my lower chest. Why are you so close? <laughs> Third and final set. This time, I promise you, I won't forget the partials. I'll actively be thinking about them. But uh, we're gonna do the partials, and then we're gonna do <laughs> we're gonna do the partials, and then we're gonna do the drop set right after that. So let's flip and go, man. By the way, I'll explain why I'm so lateral when I'm going on the last reps or in general even in the first set after this drop set. There's some, there's a serious time, all right? Okay, so don't be too goofy because I need to explain some information to the, the flipping viewers. Okay, the reason I go 
like this when I'm doing the doing the drop set partials, whatever. When I'm doing the set on on like incline, no, not incline, lower chest cable flies. It's because see how these uh, handles are completely lateral to my body. I want it to be in line with my uh, lower chest. So when I do them, I'm in a lateral position with my arms directly aligned with these uh, cables, right? And I have them stretch from my lower chest by being in this position, right? And I make sure my arms are, are, constant, are, sorry, are at a constant angle so that if I'm doing, if I do start bending them, it won't get as much of a tension in my lower chest. So I keep them straight, lateral, and aligned with the lower chest, and I just rep them out. So if any of you were wondering about it, why I do it like that, I, just, I think it just hits the lower chest better. But let's check that flipping chest pump, guys. All right, Habibi, it's time to check the flipping chest pump. I think uh, I have a feeling it's going to be pretty freaking good. We, uh, I'm just feeling it now. It feels pretty flipping pumped. I'm not going to lie. All right. So even the Minecraft music is thinking it's pretty scary. Hear that? I don't know if you hear it. But. All right. Let's see if we can see this. Oh, yeah. That's pretty flipping saucy, dude. Look at that. <laughs> Upper chest, I think, is ge generally having a pretty significant size increase since the start of this bulk. Because I feel like it was much lower, right? Like it was like flatter, the upper chest. Let's see the other side. Oh yeah. Yeah, genuinely I think there is some significant gain in the short span of time we've been bulking. I, I mean, it just looks like that to me. Up for you guys to decide if that's the case. Let's do, let's do one of these. Mm. That looks pretty freaking good. Let's get closer. Oh yeah, we are more under the light. Definitely showing some more definition. As you can see, the striations are kind of fading out a bit. Like, I don't, I don't necessarily like the less aesthetics, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do to get bigger, right? Let's do uh, one of these. Mm. Striations still like rippling though. That's good. Mm. Oh yeah. Nice, look at that. Front delts had some activation too though. So that's good. What else can we do? Um, let's do one of these. Get some of the, f the delt rippling on the side there, right? Oh yeah. Then one of these on the other side. Let's move the tank a bit. Oh yeah. That looks nice. <laughs> All right. I think that's pretty much it for the chest pump. Let's uh, move on to some side delts. Okay, my uh, chest pump is definitely much less because my phone uh, was losing battery. So I had to charge it and now we're doing side delts. So luckily, I, at least we're not gonna be really checking the chest pump, we're checking the side delts pump or shoulder pump. But um, I'm doing the whole stack, adding a five pound to it and get it for hopefully at least 10, right? And I get the partials at the end there. Um, but yeah. Shoulders are getting pretty flipping strong, guys. All right, let's go. <laughs> One sec, my freaking arm is in the wrong place. Those partials felt very good. All right, two more sets. Okay, second flipping set, guys. Let's go. Oh yeah, 
I got literally exactly 10 and then with all the parcels. This is like nice weight. <laughs> It's time to get this last set on the, the machine lateral raises, and then we're gonna do a heavy drop set. So uh, let's flip and go. I'm really liking these partials after each set, really getting me a, a good workout. I think this is gonna be a huge factor in size gain in the future too. Let's go. Really focusing on the eccentric. The freaking drop set with the partials added on there too has been feeling really good for each, each workout that we've been doing. Especially our shoulders. Wow, they are burning. Oh, this pump's gonna be great. It's now time for some cross cable lateral raises. I still got so much to eat when I get home, man. I gotta, I think I still got like 70 grams of protein I gotta eat. It's a lot of fucking protein. And calorie wise, too, I have to eat a lot. All right, let's look and go. Great <laughs> parcels. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that, that was, that burned. Okay, got two more sets of that. Righty, folks, let's see what shenanigans my cameraman causes this time. Uh, but we're gonna do this second set, which is with the goofy angle, and then the last set will be the drop set. All right, let's go. Said the one time I wanted you to do something, you didn't do anything on your damn phone. All right, let's uh do the last flipping set, um, and then we'll have the drop set. I think that will feel pretty freaking good, and then we're gonna check that damn shoulder pump. Let's go. Oh God, it's your it's your measly weight camera, man. Twenty pounds. Get mogged two times the weight. Attacking me now. <laughs> All right, let's go. It's time to lock in. Oh, God damn it. Ugh. It got clipped on. <laughs> technical difficulties, guys. Not really technical, more mechanical. Don't worry. We're a, we're a mechanical engineer. We can figure this out. Just gotta get it out of here, but you know what? We got this. Come Partials. 
Look. Drops. I can't even get past waist height, bruh. I'm gonna half it. We're really focusing on the eccentric, all right? Let's go. Oh, oh that's really poor. Oh, oh. Ah. Ooh. Let's check this flipping shoulder pump. It's a it's bound to be good. I have to check this flipping shoulder pump. Pretty excited. Because I think my shoulders are burning from uh those two uh rear side delt workouts. Alright. Uh, look at that. I'm sorry, popping. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Let's see guys. Okay. Oh yeah, he definitely, look at that, he's round, the roundness on that, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh yeah, they're looking pretty freaking good, dude. <laughs> look at the shoulder veins, dude. Oh yeah. Look at that. the traps too, are uh, definitely pumped. Let's uh, do one of these so we can see like the ripples on the side delt. Oh yeah, see that? Oh. See this side? Oh, look at that. That is nice. Like, I just like how it, like, forms into place right there. All right. What else is there? You can do a front double by and see how the shoulders look. Right. Yeah. Pretty freaking saucy, dude. Uh, let's get one of these. You can see the freaking... I, I forgot what these are called. The indents in the shoulder, those are looking nice. Honestly, let's take the freaking hat off so we can see better aesthetic. Uh, talking about the, taking the hat off, and you know how I put it on the beard. I accidentally cut one side of the beard too short while I was, while I was trimming up. And then I, I cut, because I cut that side too short, then I had, had to even it out with this. And I just kept, kept going. My beard was so flipping nice before I trimmed it up, but now... It's, uh, it's harder to keep the mic on, but let's check the aesthetics. Hair is flat right now. Let's form it. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's looking pretty freaking nice. All right. Let's get some... The reason I want to take off the hat is because the hat sometimes goes on my shoulders, so it doesn't really get the rear delt popping. So I want to really show you guys that size. Oh, yeah. That's looking pretty flipping nice. Mm. Look at that. <laughs> oh yeah, the aesthetics look so much better without the hat. Even though I love the hat, I'm sorry, the aesthetics look so good without the hat. I think that goes with any hat though. Unless you're, I think you're wearing a beanie, maybe. Look at that, dude. Mm. Those are some freaking saucy looking delts. All right, let's get a breath hold. And honestly, let's get out of here. It's, it's flipping 3 a.m. almost. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh. I might fell from my, my beard, as you can tell. <laughs> let's do it off observation, Moshi. All right. Ooh, that's a pretty, Saucy looking pose. No, I, really, I feel like this pose looks pretty freaking crazy. Or, or like this. Or, or freaking. I feel like a freaking statue. <laughs> All right, what else is there? Let's uh, get a side delt pose with the breath hold. Other side. Oh, 
are you? It's looking pretty freaking crazy. Flicking. I said flipping and freaking together. All right. I think it's time for us to depart from the gym. I think we've been here for a very long time because honestly, I was talking with my boy a little too long for some topics and it kind of, I kind of lost track of time. I mean, he did too. And we're both kind of tired and I so I have to flip and eat, damn it. Uh, all right, let's get to the Boshi Mobile. By the way, the snow is, has freaking started. I hope we get some pretty flipping good snow, dude. I, I'm kind of excited about that. Um, uh, I really hope it's a lot. All my, you know what's really funny, actually? All my classes have been canceled. But you know what's the one class that hasn't been canceled? My flipping math class. It's online, but still, every other professor has canceled the class. Like, letting us enjoy the day. But my earliest class and the math class, it's still in session. So, uh, oh well. But uh, what can I do? I can't control what I can't control, right? So uh, let's flip and go. Let's hope the roads aren't too uh, snowy. But um, honestly, I wouldn't mind that. It'll, it'll, I'll just show, I'll just mog all the... Yeah. Oh, hot. Got it. Woohoo. You know what? I'll just, I'll just uh, talk into the mic like this. Um, I'll mog all the other drivers with my extreme driving skills. All right, I think I'm just yapping now. Let's get going. Ah, would you look at this. Snow. It's flipping snow. Let's hope uh, we get a lot of inches tonight. <laughs> I mean, all my classes are canceled, so it's fine. We're good. We're going to get... Uh, we're going to get... We're, either way, we don't have class, which is a good thing. But yeah, snow. We are in the Boshi Cave. Um, let's take the melatonin gummies because I want to sleep. Oh, almost drop it. I'm so flipping happy um, that classes are canceled tomorrow because of the snow blizzard. Hopefully, it's a good blizzard. I, I mean, I would assume so for classes being canceled tomorrow. But ah, oh, damn it! I lost my water bottle downstairs. Whatever, it's gonna be a very chewy, uh, gummy, vitamin gummy session, I guess. Or, yeah, no, I left it downstairs, damn it. Um, but whatever. Let's, uh, take the biotin, vitamin E, and, uh, fish oil pill. Okay, ashwagandha. Oh, yeah, it's just so funny to me, um, that my math teacher, me, teacher didn't cancel yet. I mean, didn't cancel. He did made it online. It just like it follows the rubric of all like those memes, where it's like, like oh, oh, this is solar eclipse. Um, no school today, and it's like the math teacher, or something like that. And it'll be like him, like I don't know, removing the moon from the sun, or like, or it'll be like a clip of Superman, like freaking destroying the moon. It'll, you know the memes. Uh, I've got the zinc C and D gummies. All right. Oh, wow. It was really chewy. It was really like, you know, drink a bit of water. Make it more satisfying. Alright, got the magnesium, guys. Also, I hope you guys like this new side of video. It's probably not going to be like that every video because, to be honest, I don't have um, friends. Well, I have friends, but, you know, they're all in college. So not here, and they don't have a lot of time. Um, some it's the, for the ones that are here, because you know they have their own things too. You know they're doing their degrees and things like that. Like my friend group, honestly, is really productive. <laughs> like every one of my friends in my friend group, at least, we're we're all gonna make it somewhere. Um, whether they be a doctor, mechanical engineer, or uh, some other engineer. I have faith in my friend group because we're all, uh, we're a pretty intelligent friend group. I, I would help, hope so, at least. I, well, I mean, from what I see. Um, other than that, though, yeah, like, I don't really have many friends that can record for me, I guess. So, I mean, if I find um, one of my homies that can start coming with me, then, yeah, of course, I'll make these uh, funnier. I, I don't know. Uh, first, I got to see if you guys like it. If you guys don't like it, then, I mean, I don't know. Uh, it's up, to, it's, 
I don't know. Is it, I feel like if it's it's, I'm gonna give my thoughts on this idea, this new style. The thing is, I like the part the for, parts uh parts. <laughs> I like uh how with the regular videos, you know, it's more like just me and you guys. But like the aspect of the cameraman, you know, um, especially uh my, the one friend that I have today. It's pretty goofy sometimes, you know. But um. Like, if it's anyone else, you know, like, just having the cameraman, you know, just me being able to talk to the person behind the camera, it makes it, I guess, you could say more real. I'm like, I'm real to you guys, too, but, like, the fact that I'm talking to, like, an actual person will always, no matter who you are, as in, like, a person recording a video, anytime you're talking to an actual person, you're definitely, you're much more real to the, to the person than you are to a goddamn camera, right? Um... But yeah, that, so like maybe that aspect of like reality, I guess, talking to the cameraman is kind of like me talking to you guys in a sense. It's like, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a little, I don't know, but like, it's like, it's like, I'm, you guys are working out with me, if you get what I mean, because you know, the camera guy is walking around and stuff, but I don't know, but let's go see Cinnabon, guys, I, 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 honey, we must see Cinnabon, all right. There she is. Look at this. You know what? Let's see if Cinnabon mogs. All right. All right, Cinnabon. Let's rate your, let's rate your uh, mogging ability. All right. She does have a positive cat tail tilt. Oh. She is definitely a hunter, so hunter eyes. Um, she has perfect facial harmony. Um, look at that. Beautiful jawline, of course. Uh, symmetrical ears. Oh god. Absolutely beautiful hunting skills. Attentive. The only thing is she is a bit on the overweight side, but I wouldn't I wouldn't put that too far against her. Look at her, she's look she's like mogging. Like she puts her paw look at this, look at this. Look at that. Oh yeah, oh god. She's trying to eat you guys. She didn't have enough calories today for her bulking. I certainly did. But uh not her. She's on the hunt tonight. Look at her. She's going to eat you. All right. I'll see you goobers in the next video. After oh, she's she's still she's still striking me. <laughs> Let's give her a kiss. Bye.